always fun when you start talking to yourself and realize the recording software is not happening. We took a mole to, uh, mole to six. Because of, uh, we opened one land and nothing else. Here we've got, you know, a green source and we have a timberland guide, a land, we have creature. Hey look, it's his own timberland guide. I would love to draw a forest right now and just trade. This guy also seems very nice and polite at least. Uh, okay. Looks like we're going to take a little bit of damage from this thing. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, cast tr Trusted Force Mage. That would be... That would be a little painful. Oof. That's a little rough. Uh, what would I like best? A one-drop creature? So, Nefalia... Or, Smuggler? That's interesting. That was quite a top deck. Because I think... And that puts us on a four turn clock. Yeah, his first miracle. Yeah, you gotta click it from your hand. So let him, let him figure that out. I had the same issue except I was recording at the time. Wait for him to do this while we contemplate how dead we are. Okay, well, it's all good. We take quite a bit of damage. Ow. Would be the proper response to this attack. So he's the, the one that was taking all the green. This was a banishment. I don't think it would have done anything. He wouldn't have had a creature turn one. Okay, come on, forest. So I can just chump. Oh, he's got another creature too? And a peddler. So, Nefalia Smuggler would be the best draw. Island was certainly not the draw I wanted. So now I think we. Is he soul bonded? Looks like no. Okay, so we're gonna take seven, then cast Mist Raven. Um, hopefully not chumps so that way. When I peel from reality, I just get to keep bouncing his guys. Okay, yeah, he beats us for seven. There you go. Ow. And hopefully he doesn't cast another creature. That would be really nice. You know, no creatures. And of course he's gonna have a creature. Oh, sweet. Okay, great. And a time is not a bad one. One, two, three, four. There's no counter spell in green red, so I at least get to bounce his guy. Unless he gives it hexproof, which would really suck. Come on, go away. Go away. Thank you. And once we cast a time yo, we'll at least slow this game down to the pace we want it to be.
which is, you know, nice and slow. What's he gonna cast five, or is he gonna cast Timberland Guide again? Cast Timberland Guide and puts the counter on Nightshade Peddler, I actually would probably trade. If he puts it on himself and attacks, I'll probably still trade because he'll just cast a Shield Mate or a Taimyo. Either way. Okay, so he's gonna put it on itself. And he's gonna Soul Bond. Because yeah, we're already at 7, which is not a life total I want to be at with um, the 5 damage spell miracle that's out there. See what could you, you could give it plus four plus four? Which would be or plus two plus two, sorry, so you make it a three three death touch. Or he could Hmm, I'm not sure what the play is. Do I I think I'll actually just take one. Do I block? Nah, I don't think I do. I think I take one. If he has Pillar of Flame and the Miracle would be dead either way. Six is you know, not the best life total to be at, but... Huh, not the card I wanted to draw. I think I will just cast a shield mate. Or do I wait to peel from reality? That and that. And he goes to attack, so I block, then peel that guy and that guy. Or do I cast a mask the components? Take another one and put myself I don't want to be at five ever. Um, since I saw we passed one late. Um if we cast a shield mate. We trade our guys for his guys. Which might be alright, because then if we draw land it's Taimyo. Um Yeah, I think I'll just cast a shield mate. No attacks, though. Just because I don't want to be at 5. And I don't want him to have a way to just kill our... I did give it Hexproof, right? Did I not... Yeah, they are so wanted together. Let's see what's coming. with that guy and that guy. Yeah, I think I will trade now. Just so I don't put myself at five. Let's see what pump spell he has. Does he have the joint assault? He does have the joint assault. That's rough. Okay. I was afraid of that. Yeah, so that's why he attacked the turn previous he had it. If I didn't block, I was dead, so... That is that. And what's he gonna cast now? Exterminator. Okay. I shouldn't have let him get such an easy two-for-one, though. I should have blocked the first turn. Also, that sucks. Um, I guess I cast Stern Mentor, because otherwise we take two, yeah, and then you can just start killing creatures. Yeah, I got. I have to put, cast a Mentor here. Oh, magic. Time yo in hand, no fifth land, getting blown out from obvious two-for-ones, getting beat down to seven on turn four.
<sighs> okay, so what are we going to want to play against him? Probably... Oh, he's casting something free points. Okay, he's going to give that guy death touch. That would be problematic. It means I can't let that thing have a counter on it. Because if it is, then it just pings for death touch damage. Tax, tax, tax. So we go down to three. I mean, if he has, if he has the six mana burn spell, we, we would have been dead either way. So. Okay. So now what we could do is we get to cast this guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to block a Nightshade Peddler, bounce the Timberland Guide. Ah, then we have to bounce our guy too. What are what's our what are our outs here? Still oh okay, he hit whoops. I'm wondering why. I think I just block there. If I block there and trade, I go down to one. Then I'd have to cast two creatures next turn. If I block, then bounce. And I draw a land, I can cast a mass of the components, which will get me there. So I block... I'm gonna block that one. And then bounce. Creature I control, creature I don't control. Uh, I know he just recasts the guy and I'm dead. I mean, if I had blocked, eaten his guy, I would have gone down to one. Oh, he was going to cast that pre-combat. I still think we're pretty just dead here. I mean, yeah, not getting fifth land on time and getting beat down so quickly was rough. I was just going to cast all these guys. Um... What are our outs? Cast a guy, ghostly prison. Not ghostly prison, um. Uh, lock down a guy, though. Tap that thing. Have a 2 2. And then I'd still take 2. Yeah, I'm pretty dead here. So I'm not gonna show him the time, though. Um. Cast. Let's see, I'm not gonna play. We're, we're dead on board, so I'm just gonna give him a chance just to attack. I'm not gonna let him see any more of our cards, and then just F6 through our turn. Of course. Well, we got a foil time, though. Know? have been playing it out since we lost four minutes of time while my stuff was recording. And he got it. Okay. Yeah, we weren't getting there anytime soon. 
Okay, so he's got a ton of those guys. So I'm gonna take a spec prison in. Actually, no, he's got the pump spell. I'll put in another terrifying presence. Take out um, our ghostly flicker since that seems too cute. And yeah, he didn't have a removal spell, so this is what I'm gonna go with. On to game two. 